Hello, good afternoon from Nigeria. This is Bank Somali, and you're welcome to the prophetic born and altar on an after day, say a Monday afternoon in the city of Abuja. Oh, we're talking about financial breaches. I'll be praying for you for God to release your blessings, your finances that are hanging. We'll be reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 19. It says, What? Money answer it all means. You all know that Bible verse, right? I'm trying to get the, the most handy. Let me try to get the most handy, maybe the new King James. Well, I want to make you know that the Lord said money answers all your, your problem. It answers all things. If it's just made for laughter and wine, make it merry. But money answers it all things. Money answers it all things means money can solve your problems. Okay? It can solve your troubles. When you're hungry, you want to buy food, you need money. You're running ministry, you need money. You're a family person, you have a wife, you have children, it's time for school, you need money. Everything you do in life, you need money. When you do not have money, it's called poverty, okay? There are things you need, there are things you want, there are things that are basic necessities of life. The food you eat, the clothing you put on the house, your basic uh, social amenities, the basic things that you need to get like water, lighting and others. You can't get them if you, don't, you do not have money. But I'm telling you today that God wanted to prosper. Many times God speaks about prosperity for his children. It's indeed speaking about a, a life of strong faith and virtue, a life of a good morale, character, health, uh, etc. When you have this money, there is this health you just have. You don't fall sick easily. It's when you don't have money, you fall sick and you 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 you, you go to the hospital, your health is affected. How about character? There are people who they sad because they haven't eaten. There are people who are always moody because they have needs that uh, they haven't uh, met about morale. Money can increase your morale. You're working for an organization to pay you, or uh, money to pay you can't do nothing. When you pay your transportation, you eat and eat. You can solve all the things. Your morale is low. But when it increases, your morale increases. Money, it, uh, it makes you beautiful. Money is a natural picture editor. You have this money, you just look good. So the gospel of uh, mammon and uh, a prosperity in church that people condemn, well, I wasn't called to do that. But I'm called to tell you that all that you need, the Lord is going to provide for you in the mighty name of Jesus. The money you need, the business you do, the Lord says he's going to bless the works of your hand. And whatever your hand finds to do, you are going to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me share some little tips with you about money and why... Uh, you need money. Money is also spiritual, okay? You all know about an iron note. The iron note is not just a, a paper. It's a note. It's a spirit. That note is a spirit. We all know about the Great Britain, the, the currencies of the IDP Queen, the King. You see, it's still the highest in the world because the, 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 the picture on it, it's a human that is still alive. The human is alive. The bait, they eat, they take good care of themselves. So they are always ahead. How about dollar? Remember, America has a slogan, In God We Trust. They believe in God. That's why the dollar kept being popular everywhere. How about your currency? You put a picture of dead people, corrupt people in it and you expect your currency to be good huh so there is a spirit money is a spirit okay you need to have this good spirit working for you the holy spirit working for you and money is gonna navigate towards you three things to keep in mind before seeking financial blessings from god number one is god must remain first God don't want to give you a blessing that after he gives you this blessing, he now struggles to see you. You don't come to church anymore. You don't pray no more. You like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Then after they got the little, the the, 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 the devil or told them about the, the fruit, they ate the fruit, they thought they were wiser. They are trying to make excuses when they were supposed to be worshiping God. The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says, No one can serve two masters. You will either hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. God is telling you, you can serve both him and money. So you need to put it in balance. The money God is going to give to you, are you is it going to take you from church, from his presence? Is it going to take all your time from praying? Is it going to take all your time from family? Huh? God tells us about family. As a man, as a woman, your family is number one after God. In fact, with God, your family is number one because God is joined with your all. That money that God is going to give to you, that is going to make you run away from Him, He wouldn't want to give to you because God is what? A jealous God. God is a jealous God. Number two, we must first be trustworthy with the gift that God has already given us. 
You don't understand it? Let's read from the book of Luke chapter 16 from verse 10. Say, whoever can be trusted with a little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with a very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you have not been trusted in land and worldly wealth, who will you trust with the true riches? The Lord gave you a little money. You can't even pay your tithe. You can't even give offering. You can't even have the poor. You can't even have the needy. You can't even maintain this money. The Lord gave you this just like the parable of the uh, man given one talent that he went to bury it. In your own time, you don't even bury it. You spend everything. You say, another one will come. God is going to bring another one. Who do you think God is? Someone who works for you, uh, someone you employ to do some dirty jobs for you, to, to go up, down, and scavenge for money for you? No, if the Lord give you good health, you give given you this good health, know how to maintain it. You hear the exercise, eat good food, sleep when you need to sleep. If God give it this money, give him from the little he has given to you. Multiply this money. If you can do that, if this money wouldn't turn you from being from being a kind person to a rude and a pompous person, then God is gonna increase it. The reason why you were serving God, you pray some of you, the Lord know when he gives this money, he's not gonna see you no more. When he gives this money, this money is gonna kill you. I told you all of a story of a brother that and was praying to God for money and God decided to bless him and give him the money and the first money that the Lord gave to him 5 million naira chicken change he went to the bank he withdrew 500,000 naira put it at the back of his pocket he was going through the joints where to drink then he was trying to cross the road and the car hit him and he died if he hadn't gotten that money he would be in church that Friday if he hadn't gotten that money he would be someone praying but God gave him much that way and see what happened to him. I'm not happy that happened, but I'm just giving you an example of uh, how people change when money comes into their hand and how people are not trustworthy with a gift God already given to them. If this person probably God gave him some gift before. He was doing some eye service, helping the poor, helping the needy, trying to keep it uh, multiplied. But when the big one come, pa, the fall telling the went. And number three, lastly, we are called to be good stewards with what he's about to give us by giving to the poor give your tithe and church pay your offering so seed support the work of the lord okay the lord is going to give to you if you're going to give uh, back to him you're going to use it to propagate the gospel the book of malachi chapter 3 verse 10 say bring the old tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house test me in this says the lord almighty and see if i will not throw open the flood get of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be no room enough to store it now the lord is talking about you bringing your tithe to the house of the lord because you know about the levi then you bring the tithe and food you bring the sign and money you bring the sign and everything they eat and the offerings the poor will also eat from there off how many people in your family are you helping how many people in your compound are you helping how many people in your church in your locality are you helping how many people in your church of the opposite religion are you even helping the lord is gonna bless you more when you give back to him what he gives to you you you're giving him a portion of it you see the church have this thing you have the church you see evangelical project oh they want to go propagate the gospel you're there to support the lord is going to increase everything is going to increase everything it's going to increase everything is given to you so if you don't have this mindset the lord will not give you some of those blessings i'll be reading some psalms for you that has helped me to give me financial blessing i am rich i am well they always confess that when you wake up in the morning say oh good morning rich man good morning well the man pastor chris taught me that when you see the way you see yourself in the mirror is how the world is going to see you. The way you see yourself is how God call you. So you have to be a Christian. God call me to be rich, to be prosper, to go and multiply, to have everything. So therefore, I wake up this morning. The king is awake. I take from the north, from south, from east, from west. I take everything that the Lord has given to me. You need to make that a habit to call and for everything that the Lord has given to you. You call for things that are not as though they were and they are going to come. First, you read the book of Psalm 112, verse 3. And if you join in for the first time, please comment. Let me know where you're joining from okay let me know where you're joining from and share this broadcast and god is going to bless you in the mighty name of jesus psalm 112 verse 3 says wealth and riches are in the houses and their righteousness endures forever as i keep my eyes fixed on you lord following your precept in all your ways all these shall be added unto me all for your glory lord See what does about uh, the, the, the David, the, 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 the wise king says? His wealth and riches are in their houses, and righteousness endures forever. The Lord is going to give you this wealth. 
because he know when you get us, it's gonna give glory back to him. People are gonna say that man serves God, that woman serves God, and they're rich, they're wealthy. The Lord want to use it as a want to use it as a good example. Be okay as a Christian. The richest people in the world, they are Christian. They know God. You know about the Jews in America, innovations, business. They are people that know God. How about even in uh, Africa, in Nigeria, the richest black man on the first of the earth is a tighter, according to what I've heard. He's a tighter. He gives to the project that what glorifies God. You need to have that in mind. Think about it. Meditate on it. The little you have, start giving to people, okay? Start helping people, and God is going to help you more in the mighty name of Jesus. I've written seven Psalms, okay? I read the first one, Psalms 1, 1, 1 2, verse 3. In the second will be written in Psalm 1 verse 3. He said, The righteous person is like a tree planted by a stream of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whenever they do prosperous, you're going to prosper in everything you do. Just read this Bible verse always. They thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you, Lord, for prospering me in ways I couldn't fathom. Thank you, Lord, for what is coming. Thank you, Lord, for wealth is coming. Wealth is coming. Money is coming. Great businesses are coming. Great connections are coming. When you read this Bible verse, say, Yet I am like a tree planted by the stream of water. I grow. I bring my food in every season. My leaves. It will never wither. I prosper in whatever I do. I prosper in whatever I do. In Todd Sands 118 verse 25, it says, Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. You tell God, oh God, save me. Oh God, grant me success. You say the world is final, Lord. It cannot fail. Thank you for saving me from, for, 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 for granting me with success. Thank you for saving me and granting me with success. Oh Lord, grant me success. Give me success. I receive success. I receive success, Lord. You can never fail. You can never fail. You always save me, Lord. You always save me, Lord. You give me success. Whatever I do, prosper. Whatever I do, prosper. Whatever I do, prosper. My grass is always green. In fact, this same time, the 5 verse 27 it says may those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness may they always say the lord is exalted the lord be exalted who delight in the well-being he's servant you are the servant of the lord thank god for vindicating you lord i, I shout with joy and gladness thank for exalting me and prospering all the works of my hands the works of your hands will be blessed the works of your hands will be blessed whatever you touch will turn the gold whatever you touch will turn a diamond deal will turn silver whatever you try to do today it's gonna yield you're gonna prosper in everything you do and speak as a prophet over your life you will succeed today you will succeed today you will succeed today you will succeed today in the mighty name of jesus and fifthly sam 1 4 to 5 from verse 15 to 16 it says the eye of all look to you we're talking to god and you give them their food at the proper time the lord knows your timing you open your hand and satisfy satisfy the desire of every living thing you are a living thing because the lord created you in his image he's going to provide for you he's going to satisfy you he provides for the cockroaches for the ants for the birds for animals for chicken for goat how about you that is greater than the image of the lord when when you read this Bible verse, oh Lord, my eyes are fixed on you. Oh Lord, give me everything I need at the perfect time. Oh Lord, you will never fail me. The perfect time, give me everything I need at the perfect time. You open your loving hand and satisfy my every desire. Thank you, Lord. Satisfy my desire. Satisfy my desire. Satisfy my desire, oh Lord. More like never before. Satisfy my desire. When you done that, the, for the sixth Bible verse, uh, the sixth or the last, it's the book of Psalm 115 verse 14. It said, May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. Both you and your children. The Lord already gave you that promise. Now you see why being with Christ and knowing Christ is exciting and beautiful. Why loving God is exciting and beautiful. The Lord says He's going to want to cause you to flourish. But you and your children. But you, your wife and your children. But you, your husband and your children. Whatever you do, you are going to want to prosper. You are going to want to prosper. See, what an amazing God you are. Repeat after me. See, what an amazing God you are. Thank you for causing me and my children. Think for causing me and my wife and me and my husband to flourish. We flourish in whatever we do. 
We flourish wherever we are. You are not a God of little. You are the God of abundance. Say that. Say, you are not a Lord God of little. You are a God of abundance. Thank you for the divine blessings from above. Thank you for the divine success from above. Thank you for the divine connections from above. As for me and my house, we shall praise your name. We shall serve you for the rest of our lives. We shall serve you for the rest of our lives. Amen. And lastly, the book of Psalms chapter 24 verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who lives in it. The earth is the Lord. He owns the earth. He created everything. So he might decide to take you to a place you were favored, a place you prosper. He might take you to that person who's going to help you. Remember, he says the heart of king, sir, queen, are in his hands. You can tune to however he pleases. May the Lord cause men to favor you. May the Lord cause women to favor you. May the Lord cause spirit to favor you. The gods of the land where you live in, the evil, the blessings of unbelievers, they are laid up for the just like you. The Lord is going to release blessings for you. The Lord is going to release blessings for you. The Lord is going to release blessings for you in the mighty name of of Jesus, le coke pete que shen de negre pete que zente mentele de lido shita ya in radi prede que shen te que pele de que de que pete que pete que pete que de rento ziza baga bala gramara gada casa ta capala gaya da rim prade que shen te que pete que de que pete que pete que de que but bless your people, bless your people, bless your people, bless your people. I speak as a prophet this afternoon. May the floodgate of heaven be open. Let it rain blessings upon you. Blessings are rain upon you. Blessings are rain upon you. Connection rain upon you. Receive money. Receive wealth. Whatever you do will prosper. Whatever you do prosper. Whatever you do prosper. The stay in the mighty name of Jesus. Men will walk for you. Strangers will feed your flocks. Strangers will build your fence. Your children will be nursed on your legs. Your children will prosper. They will flourish. They will flourish. They will flourish. Receive connection from the highest of the highs. Receive connection from the government. Receive connection from business moguls. The blessings of the land were good and bad. They come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessings of unbelievers they navigate towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have a heart to give to the Lord, as you've made up your mind to give to the Lord, as you've made of my mind to be an instrument to the propagating of the gospel of Christ. May your doors be open. Your doors will never be locked. Your doors will never be locked. Your doors will never be locked. Just like you fetch water from the tap. Just like you fetch water from the well. Just like you fetch water from the river. So shall you fetch wells. You shall fetch money. So shall you fetch money in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that you are blessed. 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 You are a success. You are a success. You are a success. You shall be in the envy of nations in the the name of Jesus. Nations will rise up to hear you. We shall come to see you. Hey, Solomon was so wealthy as a king and as a man of God that uh, the queen, uh, how did they call the queen from Africa, from Ethiopia, Queen Sheba had to go to know just to sit and listen to him talk. There is this money you have as a man that women just throw themselves at you. But you are the son and you have the Holy Ghost. You have to know who is your wife and who is not your wife. You have to know that adultery, fornication, they are all bad. You have to keep that away. There is money you have as a woman that everybody call you beautiful even if you're not beautiful. But the Lord increase wealth for you. There is this wealth you're going to have that when the pastor, you see your pastor, you just want to make your pastor feel good. Oh, this car for your pastor, this house for your pastor. Oh, mama, take this. Oh, papa, take this. My brother, my sisters, everybody around you will just be good. But you need to do that one with wisdom. May the Lord provide you with wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, the topic is what? Money answered all things, okay? Money is to provide good things for you. Money is to make you live comfortable. Money is to make serving the Lord more efficient and effective for you. When you do not lack, you do not want, you wouldn't have high blood pressure. You wouldn't have been deep thoughts that will make you not to worship God more. May the Lord give you the strength. May the Lord give you a long life to enjoy that he has promised you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a prophetic born and altar, a place where difficult things I made it easy. And you join in for the first time, you'll let a partner with us. Please feel free to partner with us, okay? Feel free to partner with us. And those in Nigeria who've been asking, oh, man of God, we want to support your ministry, we want to help. And if you're buying equipment and building the ministry, you can send your seeds to 206 806 1537. I repeat, 206 806 
1537. The bank is UBA, United Bank for Africa. United Bank for Africa, UBA. And the name is Love Banks, Manuel Omala. Yours truly. And God is going to bless you as you're sending your seeds in the modern name of Jesus. Please let me know where you're joining from, okay? Click on the subscribe button, the notification button, the follow, the like button. Share this with your family and friends. And as you do that, the wealth of the Lord will locate you this afternoon in the modern name of Jesus. Congratulations and shalom. I hope to see more of you. Wonders prophetic born and altar. God bless you. Shalom.